This is the Wifold Challenge Cup blistering off the blocks as we have NSR Oslo on the left of our picture and Grosvenor Rowing Club on the right of our picture and I'm joined by steward and Olympic and world champion Mark Hunter. Good afternoon Matt, welcome back, this is incredible on a Tuesday afternoon, sun's beaming out and there's some wind on the course we can see. What could be better than, well perhaps having to steer off a gusty Henley start in the Wyfolds, uh, tricky start for these crews trying to get off the island and onto the main body of the course. Yeah, it's always that challenge as you go off the blocks, you know, trying to make sure that you get that steering line right. And as you can see, the umpire is just using his flag to correct the crews onto their stations. Yeah, I think both have come together, really. It was hard to see that it was one or the other. But, well, what's happened here is on the Berkshire station, we've got uh, Oslo having eked out a lead, done the better probably from that better steering as well. Yeah, and I think it's, you know, trying to capitalise on those uh, critical kind of moments in races. You know, if an umpire gets you to steer, you know, lot, not letting it affect your speed of your hole or your boat um, and trying to stay on track and, you know, keeping your cadence and not losing the boat speed. Well, as we join it live down the course, NSR Oslo looking to be in control and that to me says that they've opened up a pretty big uh, gap over Grosvenor Rowing Club and there we are. That's the size of the gap. We're into the second half of the course now and um, as we zoom in towards Grosvenor, you can see them rowing the Coxless 4 quite nicely but tricky conditions here. Yeah, it's really challenging. It's quite a gusty wind so, you know, one minute you feel you're okay and then this gust will come in and just, especially if it hits one side, um, and kind of knock you off and then you just the whole speed just drops and it's that kind of dead weight trying to pick it up again but you know the crews from Oslo have got much a lot of experience at the regatta you know they've had some incredible crews over the year winning the Brit I think in 2019 so they do have a lot of history and you know the crews and crew did come through the qualifiers so you know they mentioned that some of the, the two of the guys in the boat it's their first time they've been at the regatta yeah, and it, the experience does count for something. We've got some Henley experience in, in both of the crews here. Uh, Grosvenor crew uh, is stroked, uh, steered from the bow seat here, Jordan Simmons at bow, and that gives a bit of extra pressure, whereas uh, Oslo is being steered in the stroke seat by Matty Saborowski. Um, and I think that's a bit easier to steer from the stroke sometimes. Yeah, it depends where you feel comfortable. You know, if you're steering from the stroke seat, you can see clearly. And if you look at the start, you've got your V and your post, so you can actually line up. Um, and if you're sitting behind someone and you're trying to steer and look over their shoulder and see if you're on, on the line, uh, it can be quite challenging. But it is a skill to be able to do that on the Henley course. So, yeah, we're looking at the backs of the Oslo crew there as we come through into the third quarter of the race. Bit of a dead zone here if you're not careful, particularly if you're behind. But, you know, Oslo really rowing very nicely. Yeah, they're looking complete control there, just kind of going through the process, you know, just trying to set conserve energy for you know the extra day now is an extra day of racing or a day of waiting um, so just making sure that they don't expend too much energy in their opening rounds um, and especially with the conditions that we can see today it just makes it so much more challenging yeah, i think they're running the coxless ball very well in the oslo crew and you can see the difference there between the sort of relaxed position you can take when you're ahead like that and as you said several returners from previous head of the uh, henley royal regatta crews here great prestige this club and it's great to see them coming back year after year in uh, the Wyfolds as well they were finalists in 2019 winners of the Britannia the Cox 4 event in 2017 and finalists in the Tem Cup in 2016 so we welcome them back it's lovely to have so many international competitors over 170 different crews from around the world uh, entered alongside their British counterparts and I think that's part of the excitement that sport is back isn't it you know no matter what sport it is but especially in our sport these opportunities to race abroad again you know, fellow competitors, you know, that kind of social interaction, you know, just the opportunity to be back on the course racing. You know, crews have been waiting for this for the last couple of years, so it's their opportunity this week. And it, there's a real feeling, isn't there, Mark, of, of rowing coming home when it comes to Henley. Uh, 183 years since the first Henley regatta here on this track, and everybody wants to come and race here, and it's great to see so many uh, back in action this year. And I think that's the beauty of the, the event. It's, it's evolved over those those 183 years as we progress with more and more entries, you know, more and more events. And this year is an, another step forward in that, with that in the sixth day. So, you know, we just keep extending it because people want to come, people want to compete. Here we are in the Tuesday sunshine at Henley Royal Regatta in the Platinum Jubilee year of the Queen. And it's Oslo crossing the line after a great row for them, opening up 
their Henley for 2022. And Grosvenor threw everything into it, through the qualifiers, onto the track against a great international crew. And cheers from Oslo as they beat Grosvenor Rowing Club in the first round of the Weifold Challenge Cup.